Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be testing out some new LA Colors makeup products. So this foundation right here is only $6 and this is the new LA Colors Truly Matte Long Wearing High Pigment Foundation. So I've been seeing this everywhere on Instagram, everywhere on YouTube and basically everyone's saying it's bomb.com because it's super full coverage, full pigment and it's only 6 bucks. So y'all already know I had to try it and then also I got a highlight and cheek palette from them, an eyeshadow palette, and also some lippies to try out. So I figured I would just throw it all into one video. LA Colors is not a brand that I reach for. I don't know why, but I guess it's just not that accessible to me. Like they sell it in some beauty supply stores and some Walmarts, but I don't see it all the time, so I don't grab for it. So if you guys wanna see my review on some of these products and just keep on watching the video. All right, so I'm first gonna start off with this eyeshadow palette. This is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. It is the LA Colors Sweet 16 eyeshadow palette. I feel like I'm totally giving like Selena vibes with this hair. You know, I don't really usually wear black hair, but you know, I was feeling it today. So I'm gonna be mixing this shade and this shade and putting this in my crease. And I did recently do an eyeshadow tutorial where I explain like all about eyeshadow, how to blend, what palettes I recommend, what brushes I recommend. So if you guys want to see that, I'll have it at the end of this video. That way you can click on that and look at it. It's a very informative, in-depth tutorial on how to do eyeshadow. So definitely recommend you go and check it out. Right off the bat, these things definitely blend pretty well and the pigmentation is there. And I will have prices and links to all the products linked down below. I can't think of the prices like right off the top of my head, but I do know that everything was pretty cheap. Um, so that's really good. Alright, so next I'm going to be taking this shade right here, which is like my favorite shade already in the palette. It's like a burnt red-orange color. These eyeshadows are super pigmented. And then just taking that first brush and blending the edges of this eyeshadow out. Next I'm going to take these two shades. They're pretty similar so I'm just going to put both of them on my brush. Wow. I'm really like blown away from this palette. Like I did not expect it to be super pigmented or anything but this is like super nice. I'm going to be using this shade right here which is like a smoky brown gray kind of color and it does have some shimmer in it. Wow, that shade was pigmented, girl. All right, now I'm gonna go in with that same violet shade we used before and just blend out the edges. Excuse this eyeshadow look. I feel like it looks good, but it's just one of those looks that you have to have lashes for. So it might look a little wonky right now, but I promise when we're done with the makeup, it'll look good. So I'm definitely here for the eyeshadow palette. I think that it's super pigmented. Like I was not expecting all that. Um, now we're just going to go ahead and try the foundation. Because it is matte and it is full coverage, I definitely want to hydrate my skin because I do have super dry skin. And something about matte foundations, they just don't agree with me. <laughs> so I'm just going in with this e.l.f. hydrating balm. For even more moisture, I'm going to be using the NYX Honey Do Me Up Primer. This thing will add some dew to your skin for sure. So I pretty much just need all the help I can get right now because this foundation is about to be super dry. I can feel it. <laughs> so I did get the shade Cafe. This seemed like the best match on the website. They don't have a lot of shades though. I'm just going to go ahead and say that. Um, for this to be such a hot popular like foundation, I would expect them to just go ahead and come out with more shades. All right, so... Alright, so about one pump on my hands and I'm going to be blending out my foundation with the Morphe M439 brush and just blend this out. Oh, it stinks. <laughs> I feel like that's the very first thing I say about foundation is that it stinks, but it does. I don't know. The smell of foundation just bothers me. <laughs> I'm going to try to do one side of my face. That way you guys can see 
the coverage. Okay, so one side of my face is done. I definitely agree with it being full coverage. It looks pretty good. The shade looks okay. It's a little... I don't know. It's a little off. Just a little bit. But it doesn't look bad. I feel like once we contour and all that good stuff, it'll be good. Um, but... I would definitely say this foundation reminds me so much of like the Huda Beauty foundation where it's super thick and it's just like kind of not hard to blend out but it just it's going to take you a minute to blend out you know what I mean which is not a bad thing I kind of expect that of a full pigment foundation um it looks pretty good on the skin it doesn't look cakey or anything and that was one pump on one side of my face so I feel like if you don't have a lot of problematic areas on your skin then you can get away with one pump but I just like to be extra and apply two pumps. So I'm going to go ahead and do this side of my face. Um, it definitely is a matte finish. So if you have oily skin, I feel like you're going to like this. If you have dry like me, you might want to make sure you prep and put a bunch of hydration on. Because this thing is matte. Like there's absolutely no shine on my face. Um, but it doesn't look bad though. A lot of times matte foundations will like make me look old, you know what I mean? Like settle into fine lines quickly, but this foundation is not doing that. Alright, so now moving on to contour. I'm going to be using the LA Colors Mineral Pressed Powder. This one is in the shade Ebony and they did have a lot of shades of their pressed powder on their website. Okay, so Ebony is definitely more of like a red brown. I'm okay with that because I like my contours to be more like, you know, bronzy warm tone anyway so it's okay all right cool so now we're gonna move on to this la colors so cheeky blush and highlight palette so that's what the inside of the palette looks like and i think i'm gonna mix these two and apply that as blush oh that's pretty i'm gonna mix the bottom highlighters down here just because one is too yellow for me and the other one is a little bit too peachy for me. So I feel like if I mix them, I can get like the perfect combo. Ooh. Girl. <laughs> I am seriously blown away. Like LA Colors really did that. Like, yo, I really was not expecting all this good stuff. Like, I just, I don't know. I don't know. They're just not really a brand that I reach for. So I just wasn't going to be like super hyped for it. But y'all, they are like really doing that. For lips, I'm going to be taking their matte liquid lip color. This one is in the shade Barely There. Hmm, I like that name. So I wanted to do like a nude lip because I'm boring and that's just like what I like. So I went ahead and lined my lips. Yep. And then for gloss, I'm taking their High Shine Shea Butter Lip Gloss. This one is in the shade Wink, which is like a gold color with like some shimmer in it. Oh, that's pretty. Alright guys, so I want to do like a full rundown of the products that I use. Starting with the eyeshadow palette, I'm definitely here for it. I mean... I wasn't expecting this pigmentation. Not only did they have this palette, which was the Brave one, but they had like six other versions of this palette. So I feel like there's a palette for everyone. Like, um, The foundation was like the hit of the freaking day. This foundation is hands down a dupe for the Huda Beauty foundation. I mean, they're like the, literally the same exact thing. This is $6. This, I want to say, is like $40. So... Hello, I think we just did something right there. They're both full coverage. This definitely is nice and pretty on the skin. It's a matte foundation, so make sure you understand that if you have dry skin, you want to go in and prep like I did, because if not, it'll just be a dry mess. The powder I used to contour was definitely pretty good. It blended well. It was nice and pigmented. The downfall is that this one is in the shade Ebony, which is the darkest shade. So if you are darker than me, I don't think this is going to be able to contour you. And even this is not that dark. It's just more of like a bronzer kind of warm tone situation it's not like super ashy or anything so if they want people to really go in and contour with using these pressed powders they definitely have to go darker um but overall i did really like it and i'll probably use it again the blush and highlight palette i did really like i think the blushes are really nice um they do have shimmer in it so if you're not a fan of blushes that have shimmer i don't think you'll like it because 
it is kind of like putting a colored highlighter on your face. I feel like I have nothing but glow right here, which I'm here for because I have dry skin. So the more glow, the better. <laughs> as far as the lippies, um, they're not anything spectacular. I feel like the liquid lipstick was a little bit patchy. Um, it's nice, but it's not anything that I'm like, you have to get. And the gloss was like super sticky and not as pigmented as I wanted. So the lip products were definitely a fail in my opinion. They're not anything spectacular. And I feel like you probably already have something like this in your collection. Um, but definitely try out the foundation, definitely try out the highlighting palette, and definitely try out the eyeshadow palette. These three right here, like, stole the show. Like, I'm definitely blown away by this foundation, and I can't believe that it is a freaking dupe for the Huda Beauty Foundation. But, yeah, that is pretty much the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'm definitely going to be checking out LA Colors now because for some odd reason, they just were not on my radar. I just didn't even see them for some reason. I don't know, but thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel on your way out, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!